we're gonna talk about the three quick methods and the preferred methods of doing it. The first one is with access keys. We do not recommend using access keys. Why is that? Only two access keys exist for your storage account. If you choose to use one and now have to change it, you will have to change it for everything referring to that storage account and it will be a problem for you later on. So if you think about the rule, it's the most obvious thing that's there. You got it right away and you can see in your storage account and you say, oh, I'll just use share that key. Don't, how's that for an answer? So use those keys for only special uses and special cases so that you can actually manage those accordingly. You especially don't wanna, those are used often for like applications and things you have control over. So not for sharing outside the wall. If you go and share outside the organization, then that's going to be a, then that's going to be a problem. You don't wanna to have to change it when you feel like you, that key has been violated in some way. So let's talk about a couple other ways about sharing your data outside the walls. Shared access signatures. This is the first step, also called SAS, because we would not want to confuse it with every other thing called SAS in the world. But it's designed to limit the access to your storage account and the containers that they're involved in. They establish security at a more granular level, level than these access keys. So now I can actually partition out Using one storage account, I can actually create multiple signatures and allow for specific security access. This is really helpful in situations where you have companies sending you data and you want to put that somewhere, but you're not sure where, you're not sure how to access or how to securely give them access to your uh, Azure environment. This is a great way to do it. If the things change, you can kill the key. It's really easy to do that. It's based on an access key, but it is not the access key itself. So the risk is much less. They also have expiration properties, so if you only want to have this, if you only want to have this available for a few weeks, a month, a couple days, and you can use other protocols such as HTTPS if you need to. Shared access policies are the next tier. They leverage shared access signatures. These can be created with PowerShell. There's actually not a GUI for these yet. Um, maybe it'll come later, but at the moment there isn't one. So what you're going to do around shared access policies is easy to manage without creating a new SAS every time. So you have the, it's your best option for supporting external entities to get the data into the storage account without actually, you know, and the easiest management tool overall. Keep in mind, you do have to use PowerShell for that. If you have other questions regarding secure storage access from external users or in your own accounts, click the link below. We'd be happy to help you out. Have a great day.